Hey everybody, this is Jonathan Nita does it for Better here. And have I ever do you ever really want to know how to put CDs that are not how to put CDs that are not in in the iTunes app like this one? ABC for Kids Musical Timetables featuring Don Spencer, Terry Murray, and Karen Johns. But if you try and type it up, I'm gonna type it up right here. This might take a while. Um, where are we going? So, musical times table. I don't think it's on here. Well, if your album is not here, featuring CD, then I'm going to show you how to put it on the album music on your own. So... What I have here is a MacBook and a DVD converter because this MacBook doesn't have a DVD converter. It's sold separately. So it goes in here, not sponsored, but it goes in there and we just wait until the CD pops up. Oh, there we go. And if you have a look here, it tells you, it says, would you like to import the CD times tables into your music library? And you want to click yes. And hopefully it should import the CD all the way to your music library. So we'll just give it a few minutes. Yeah, this could take a while, folks. So we might have to be patient around here. So, yeah, as you can see here, there's a little tick. That means this song has been imported. And you have to wait until the full, until all the songs are... You have to wait until all the songs are imported to the Apple Music Library. So you can listen to digital anywhere, anytime, any place. So I'll be back with you in just one second. And hopefully these should be ready to be played. All right, dudes, we are back. And if you hear this sound, the sound goes do do do. That means that all the songs are now on your Apple Music Library. But what I usually do is I wait for the the DVD converter, the DVD converter to uh, to power down. I have to wait until it stopped I'm making that sound. I don't know if you can hear it. There we go. And now all your songs have been imported to your music library. So let's see if it actually works. Ready? Three, two, one. Yay, it worked. Look at this. It's right there. See, there's the musical timetables. Now, it doesn't just work on CDs. It doesn't just work on that CD. It works on any other CDs, like these ones over here. Some of these CDs have, don't have the right pictures, but it has the same song. So, oh, by the way, if you click no, if you accidentally click no or accidentally... Don't show it again, and that's okay. You can see there's an import CD button up here. You can try. But, yeah, go ahead and check it out. Go ahead and try it out with some CDs that are not on iTunes, and then put them into your music library. And I hope you enjoy listening to those tunes, and that's all I've got time, folks, and I'll see you guys in the next video. By the way, if you come across this, if you come across this where it says CD lookup results, Multiply matches were found for the CD. Please choose the correct one. And if one of them is the correct one, then choose the correct one and then click OK. But if none of them are correct, then you can press cancel and it'll just tell you to, uh, it'll just ask you if you want to import it anyway. So I'm going to press yes and I'm going to upload the next one. And what the hell is going on here? That doesn't make sense. But you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. So. Yeah, that's what I've got time, folks, and I'll see you guys in the next video.